write like a man. Use a typewriter. That you, you know, a proposal, a book proposal, that then goes to the publisher. You know, a couple of pages about the book. You know, why it's relevant, what other books it's like, so forth. Is that something that you write yourself? Does Sean write that, or how do you uh, how do you do that? That's a great question, Nick. And I never even knew about this either. This is here's my experience, and it might not be everybody's. For fiction, there is no book proposal because the the um, publisher can't really decide if it's right or if it's good or bad until they see the whole thing. It's only for nonfiction that you do a book proposal. And I never knew this. Actually, Sean had to kind of teach me this. We were talking before about writing The Lion's Gate, which was narrative nonfiction. That, for that, I did have to do a book proposal. And, and I think they're usually like 50 pages long and sort of like what you're describing, Nick, where you kind of say, here's the premise. Here's the, your, it's a pitch. It's really a pitch to the publisher. Yeah. Here's yeah. the market. You know, this, these people will, enjoy, you know, it'd be like for uh, uh, a Malcolm Gladwell book, like the tipping point, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. he'll say, uh, here's the theme, you know, it's about blah, blah, blah. And he'll say, here's the market. It'll be for, um, you know, the intellectual people who like to read big idea nonfiction mm -hmm. and bump it, bump it, bump it. Um, and then based on that, a publisher will, will uh, uh, issue an advance. You know, here's whatever amount of money, go write the book. Yeah. But, um, which is what happened with The Lion's Gate. I, I you know, I, uh, I did, uh, I did a, a proposal and it was accepted. Mm -hmm. And, uh, and they gave an advance. And it, it sort of, the interesting thing on this was we were all wrong. The thing <laughs> about The Lion's Gate was it's, you know, since it's a story about the, the Israeli victory, I sort of said the market for this is going to be American Jews. Mm -hmm. They're going to love to read the story of Moshe Dayan, of the yeah. Jewish fighter pilots, the Jewish tank commanders. They're going to yeah. love it, you know? And the publisher said, wow, you're right. This is so true. This is great. This... And then when the book actually came out, that was the audience that resisted it the most. Really? And hated it the most. Yeah. And I... And the reason I think, I'm just guessing, but it's absolutely true that they, they resisted it. I think American Jews, and I'm one of them, although I don't feel this way, have this thing about Israel that they now think like Israel is sort of like it's getting uh, um, tarred as an apartheid state. The, the uh, Israeli army, a bunch of stormtroopers with their heels pressed on the necks of the wonderful Palestinians. Mm -hmm. In other words, American Jews are so liberal that they're yeah. like against Israel, you know? Interesting. So when this book, you know, was really praising the Israeli military establishment and showing the heroism and bumping up and all that sort of stuff, mm -hmm. American Jews didn't like it. And so, yeah. in other words, it's, this is sort of a sidebar to your question. Nick. The bottom line yeah. was we were all wrong. The pitch I made was wrong. Yeah. And, and, and then fortunately, the publisher <laughs> agreed with it and, and uh, gave me an advance. <laughs> but so that's how the, uh, a, um, a book proposal is done. And there are services out there that can help you do a book proposal. And there are books that will teach you how to do it. And there are people that will sort of be coaches. So if anybody needs to do yeah. a book proposal, um, they, you can get help doing that. Cool. Uh, for me, it was Sean who just taught me. Because, yeah. Because he, but for fiction, in my experience, you have to write the whole damn thing. Wow. Gotcha. Yeah. Gotcha. You know Which who? Makes sense, right. Think of the sure. ending of the moviegoer. Right. How mm -hmm. could you? How could you uh, do that in a synopsis? No. Yeah. Chance, no. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Too emotionally complex for them to really yeah. get why that's a special ending. Having written synopses and proposals and outlines back when I was trying to get traditionally published, none of the emotional complexity comes through in any. Yeah, of it's, that. it's really and it's that's a, the meat. like a, a, a experience of hell. I think trying to write these things. Oh, it yeah. is. Yeah, it's so brutal. Yeah, because yeah. how do you condense? How do you condense all that? Yeah, I, absolutely. <laughs> how, would you, how would you condense Game of Thrones? Right, oh, right. And, and do justice. Yeah. To no, yeah. No. yeah, you can't. Yeah. By the way, the on the um, other hand, on the other hand, 
if you were making a proposal for a book like Moneyball, mm -hmm. are, you, are you familiar with that? You know, it's yeah, like yeah, how yeah, yeah. The came into Major League Baseball. You can yeah. do that. You yeah. know, you can describe it. And if you and I are publishers, we go, oh, that makes a lot of sense. I can see how the readers would like that. And that would be fun. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I bet you, um, I don't know, you might want to verify the numbers um, as far as sales for uh, for the book on the Six Day War, The Lion's Gate. I bet you um, our people, Southern conservative Christians, are probably one of the biggest demographics of buyers. You're right book. on target, Jonathan. That's yep. exactly yeah. it. Yep, conservative yeah. Christians. If you read, this is the only way I know this is to read the reviews on Amazon. Oh, and yeah. you get a review that will say something like, I'm not a Jew myself, but I've always kind of admired the state. And when I read this book, I was really inspired by them. And it'll be signed, you know, Bogalusa, Louisiana, you know, so yeah. you're, <laughs> so I think you're exactly right. Yep. And yeah. nobody predicted that. Yep. No, no. Uh, so well, they should have talked to us first. We did, but, yeah, you know. Amer yeah. Yeah, conser yeah. American conservative Christians love Israel. Yeah, they, they love typically Israel. are pretty pro-Israel. Yeah. 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 Because yeah. it's it's intrinsic to our you know to our religion yeah, to yeah. the Bible and you yeah. know uh, Christian uh, Christian Zionism is uh, it's a very big thing yeah, in, big. in the Southern it's Church big. in the Bible Belt. Yeah. Yep. So, for sure. Yeah. For sure. My uh, my friend Dave that I mentioned earlier, by the way, his favorite book is The Lion's Gate. Oh really? Yeah. He made sure that I knew that right out of the shoot. Oh, that's funny. He's like, yeah, that's my favorite book in Pressfield. He's read everything, but that's his favorite. Book.